Hello everyone, hope you're all doing fine. Uh, so let us talk about Python formatting in Python today. So formatting in Python, it's Python, right? So is evolved over a period of time. Okay, so Python formatting has evolved over the years. Uh, I, we will try to go through all of them. If something is an old deprecated uh, way of doing it, let's say deprecated we have doing doing it then i will mark it as old because it might not say sub supported in future old here also means that it was supported in python 2.x and only retained in python 3.x for backward compatibility and maybe remote in future so let me go ahead and take Justice League here. This is a list. So let's first um, clear out this confusion between double quotes, single quotes, how to use them along with each other. Uh, same thing here. Let me go ahead and create a dictionary of Justice League. Batman is the key. Bruce Wayne is a value. Superman is key. Clark Kent is a value. Also, go ahead and get me uh, some numbers here that one, two, four, six, eight numbers, right? So, let me print out here hello Python. Hello Python. So, Python was with double quotes, the outbound quotes were single quotes. It printed out uh, hello Python exactly how I wanted it to work, how the input was. Let's go do the other way around. No, just uh, let me type hello Python. Same thing, input, output is equal to input here. Let me do one more thing. Hello Python, just with single quotes. Then I will do hello Python, just with double quotes. Now, as you can see here, single quote is single quote but when you enclose something with double quotes it will come out as single quote unless you had something else inside which had single quotes okay the only difference between this and this the input of this line 14 and 16 is uh, 14 has another string inside a substring which is enclosed with single quotes uh, the outbound quote is double quotes here you have only outbound quotes and that is double quotes and python outputs or out spits spits it out as single quotes no big deal no. so let me put this out here this will okay single quotes alone gets interpreted as single quotes double quotes alone gets interpreted as single quotes okay so remember this if you just have single quotes or if you just have double quotes they always get interpreted as single quotes single quotes enclosed in double quotes gets interpreted as as it is right double quotes enclosed in single quotes gets interpreted as it is you cannot enclose the quotes at the same time by itself that is enclosure of double quotes directly by itself isn't supported that is hello python outbound and inbound quotations are single here outbound and inbound quotations are double so these are not supported yep so let me do that here hello python yeah see it gives an error let me do again hello python it throws out an error so there we are let's talk about variable insertion here variable insertion so what is variable insertion if you have some variables you want to insert them that is called variable insertion percentage string percentage string you want to call it as percentage or modulus whatever you want then you do this you do batman Superman 
I'm marking it as old because this is the old way of doing it. You have some string here and you want to insert them like this. Uh, here is the target string that you want to manipulate. Right here, uh, here are the variables, right? And the first S is going to be inserted with this. Second percentage S is going to be inserted with this. Let's do another one like this. What is percentage S, percentage S, and percentage JL zero, JL one. Yeah. Again, this is old. From now on, let us use index items of a list for this entire section okay what did i do wrong here it says not all arguments converted during string formatting okay so okay so here i have put dollar that's wrong okay so batman superman is there this is another way. This is called placeholder uh, way of doing it, right? Format, jail. I'm going to just use this. Copy, paste. Yeah, this is placeholder. This is a placeholder. This is a placeholder. Placeholder A um, is taken by this placeholder B. Is taken by this it goes in series if you have three you have to three variables here or three play placeholders you have to give three values here all right then what do we have control a control c this can be exchanged with double quotes no problem there yeah uh, double quotes single quotes are here uh, exchangeable unless and until I tell you that they are not, assume that they are, okay? All right, so here we go. Okay, so here I have a few more stuff theory. Okay, so percentage S stood for percentage string, our variable string, and percentage D stood for percentage digit, our variable digit, in old style of formatting. Okay, so let's look at that here percentage d percentage d and key percentage one comma two one comma three old i'm marking it as old here as we get one comma two let's do this again go to end dot format one comma two yep here we go then there is also this way of doing it this is placeholder inside placeholder you can mention D what you're doing is you are uh, declaring the type of the variable yeah what if I take this here and I put uh, let's say this what happens yeah let's see what happens It gives an error because we have declared it to be a digit and it won't take it. It will fail. As you can see, unknown format code D for object of type str. Yep, so that is not going to work. There is, however, a better, easier way of doing it. We are going to have a look at that. So let's do a equals jl zero and b is jl one. By the way, if you have forgotten or if you don't want to scroll up what is jl, so jl is this, right? So I have marked this as a, this as b. No confusion there. F 
for formatting. F stands for formatting here. And I'm going to use placeholder. I'm going to just type A. B. Isn't this awesome? So easy, so cute, so compact. Yeah. All right. Let me take this one out here and do this. <clears throat> so F double quote variable, F single quote variable, F uppercase variable, F lowercase. So F lowercase and uppercase are interchangeable. Single quote, double quotes are interchangeable. But when I say single quote and double quotes are interchangeable, if something begins with the double quote, it has to end with double quote. If something begins with single quote, it has to end with single quote. It's not like, you know, you say F double quote, a variable, blah, blah, blah. And at the end, you close it with single quote. That is not going to happen. That is not accepted. All right. So keep that in mind. All right. So this is available only in the modern Neo Python 3.x. So ordered variable insertion. We are going to talk about ordered variable insertion. And we are already aware of what is JL. This is JL. I'm going to do one. And I'm going to copy this control C. Two, three, four, five, and dot format. Yeah, I'm going to say JL zero comma and I'm gonna copy this and our thing I'm gonna say control C control C control C one two three four five okay so zero one two three four all right so Batman I'm sorry not Batman Batman Superman Aquaman Flash Wonder Woman so these are our people so I printed out all this thing this is fine <clears throat> then what if I want to you know uh, have my own order to them instead of if you don't give an order here a zero one two three four or whatever so let me do it automatically it will assume that if you don't give this okay two three four shift enter Right, so I'm gonna say control A, control C. Let me exchange zero with, uh, what did I do? Okay, zero, I'm gonna make this one, I'm gonna make this zero, right? What happened here? Instead of Batman, Superman, Aquaman, Flash, Wonder Woman, it became Superman, Batman. So what I'm saying is, so this is a series, zero, uh, these are series of value, uh, variables here, are values. So here in the placeholders, I'm, instead of, having the default uh, sequence in which they have to be assigned, I'm going to override them and I'm going to tell them, tell Python, hey Python, instead of putting the zeroth item at the zeroth place, you put one there, instead of putting the one or the first uh, item here or the first value, you put the zeroth item there. So Python is a good smarty pants and it will obey me and it will do as I say. Okay, so four, three, two, one, zero. Again, same thing here. Copy paste. Uh, no biggie. Let me do this here. You can have multiple this thing. Four, three, two, zero, zero. Aquaman, Batman, Batman. So no biggie. Let me go ahead and give another one here. One, three, two, four, zero. There you go. Okay. All right. So let's talk about padding. Yeah. You have padding to your seat car cover something like that right so increase the length of the string okay so first let me go ahead do this one two three four five yeah increase the le length of the string by 10 by adding spaces provided by provided the new length is greater than uh, the existing length of the thing. Okay. Um, so this is just an example that I'm going to show you. Okay. Let me go ahead and do a mark down here. Okay. Um, 
So in the padding, we might want to okay have a subsection here, and let me call this subsection uh, strings. Yeah. Okay. All right. So first, we are going to have a look at this. That is align right. Align right. So align right format is like this. Character you have colon character greater than integers, we're gonna give some integer and then dot format. This is the thing, str, which we are going to manipulate. Character, the character that you want to fill, integer, the new length, the string on which this will be applied. Okay, so you can also look at this, yep. So if you do this, right, let me go ahead and uh, do a raw, better. Okay, so, this is right direction or align to right. It's left arrow that's left direction or align to left. Up arrow that means align to center. I think up arrow is shift six, yeah. So let's uh, go ahead and do this thing here. 10s and percentage jl zero and hold. So jail zero a is Batman. We know that. So what I what I told Python here is increase the length of this to ten, right? And since I have not given what characters or what junk value that I have to fill. Uh, in the empty spaces that it's going to add in order for uh, it to be 10, it's gonna assume that, okay, it's, uh, I will fill that with empty spaces. Okay, so I can also do that like this, in the new modern way. So if I'm not marking anything, anything like this, that pound sign old, it means it's gonna be the new one, right? Uh, great. Greater than 10, yeah? And dot format, jl, zero. So this is the modern way of doing it. What I'm saying here is um, colon greater than 10. So you just write a line, uh, this string, uh, this value that I'm giving, right align it with 10, that is the total value of the output, the result has to be 10. And you add some empty spaces to the left so that you can write align it. Then we can do, let's have a look at another example. Colon, colon, to end dot format, jl, zero. What happened here? So what I said is increase the length of jl zero with two and add empty spaces if required, right? So write a line and increase the length of JL zero to two, add empty spaces if required. Here, the two that I'm giving, the, the final length of the integer is less than the existing length of the integer, that is B-A-T-M-A-N. That is already len b a t m a n is oops len is already six. So the, if the new length is less than the existing length, it's not going to do anything. It's going to say, hey, okay, that's not going to work, and I'm not going to do anything. I'm going to just give output whatever that you gave as input. I hope that makes sense. Let's have a look at few more, and then we will have more clarity on that. Colon, I'm gonna say, let's fill that with underscore. I'm gonna say 10. Okay, let me just copy this thing. Yeah, and I'm gonna say underscore. So, write a line jl zero and increase the length of it to 10, fill empty characters with underscore. 
So it's going to keep on adding underscore to the left to push this Batman jail zero to the right until the length of the output is 10. I hope it makes sense. It should. Um, so then uh, what if I want to change this to some other character here? Same thing. Right align j right align and increase the length of jail 0 to 10 by filling empty characters with star to the left of it yeah so let's have a look at align left this is align right right we're going to have a look at align left Left alignment, left alignment. Okay, so have a look at this. I'm going to do what should, okay, so think of old ways this minus 10 S and percentage JL zero, oh no, JL index zero. This is old, yeah? So here I'm saying, Increase the length of the jail zero string by 10 by aligning it to the left and fill the rest. All right, fill the rest of the let's what say blank characters and fill the rest of the blank characters with spaces yeah with spaces empty spaces empty spaces spaces same thing mm -hmm. for the sake of clarity i think i'm going to do this yep okay so it's much better readable okay so how do you how do you do this in the newer recommended way of doing stuff? So same thing you do minus less than 10 in the dark format jail zero. Here I'm saying the same thing. Increase just let me enter as you can see increase okay first let's do only this okay increase length of jail zero increase the length Length of jail zero and left align it by filling empty spaces to the left or to the right. Yeah. So imagine these as marbles. Okay. So you want to, uh, let's say the marble's name is B uh, on a marble. You have B A T M A N written. So you want to push them to the left. So what you do is you insert some empty marbles to the right of it. Uh, so till you keep pushing it, pushing it till it reaches this length. So if I do underscore here. So since I've given left arrow here, it will left align. If I give a right arrow, it will do a right align. So control A, control C. I will do star here. Let me see what happens. Okay, that is because that was a typo. Left align the same examples of what we used here, right? So what this means is and. Oh, 
Okay, let me do the same thing here. Star, so that when you read it, you'll understand it. Then what we want to do is center alignment of string. This is center alignment. Center alignment is, I mean, the same examples as above. Uh, I'm not gonna show all of them. So let's go ahead and have a look at only this. I think shift six on my keyboard. I don't know what is on your keyboard. So same thing here. Increase the length of the JL string by 10 by aligning it to the center and fill the rest of the blank characters with star. Here you go. Okay, so let's talk about numbers now. Uh, numbers are here marked down. Okay. Percentage D and percentage nine. Old. Percentage. What should I? These are numbers again. Uh, I am inputting nine here. Percentage D means digit. It's the old way of inserting value. We talked about strings. Now we are talking about numbers. What if I say five D? Yeah. And then I would say percentage nine. Again, this is old way of doing it. What happened here? Since I've given five. It's going to add like you know five spaces there right so let me go ahead and control c i'm gonna say length this is what five there you go so the whole length of the output is going to be five and it is going to add spaces to make the length of nine five Then this is for the numbers. Same thing if you want to do with uh, the newer recommended way of doing it is 5D and format 9. Yeah, there you go. Same thing. 5D, 5D, 15D, whatever. Whatever number you like. Uh, let us talk about floats here. Floats, 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 floaty floats. Okay. All right. So, percentage F and percentage, I'm going to do 3.1415. Okay. Let me not appear smart. I'm not that smart. Let me copy paste the value that I had for this. Here we go. Oh dear. So what happened? I I have a float. I want to insert it here. Since the type of data is float, I'm going to say F, put this. But if I say D or something else, it will not take it. If I say percentage D, it won't take it because it's not a digit. If I say percentage S, it won't take it because it is not a string. If it, Since it's a float, we have to use float. Again, one thing to notice here is you need to have a comma. Okay, let me type it out. Presence of comma is not mandatory, okay? By default, a float gets rounded to six digits after dot so after the dot after the decimal zero one two three four five if you count from zero are one two three four five six so after the dot it's going to have only six it will round that number what if you want to do the same thing with the modern python the newer version of python format same thing 
copy paste here we got float formatting done let's check out another one colon okay colon dot to f i think i've talked about it earlier and um, one of my another section format let's see what happens here yeah. so what i said is after the dot you format that to two numbers so that's what it did it removed everything and retained only two yeah Control A, Control C. I'm going to put nine here and see what happens. Aha, uh -huh. so it increased the length of the float before the dot, right? Uh, that whole length now is nine from this to, uh, from this quotation till this quotation. And it added space. So by default, everything will be aligned to the right if you don't give any like alignment direction so let me go ahead and type uh, some comments here after the dot around of the value to two yeah then for this after the dot i think let me take one more space looks neat round off the value to two increase l e n g d h to nine by nine by adding spaces right align by default okay now let me do a control a control c control f what if I did this, right, left arrow? It did left align because I gave the alignment. Yep. Mm. Okay. Here we go. Then Control A, Control C, Control V. I want to center align this just for the sake of completion, right? Let's see what happens here. I'm going to type, I'm going to put some comments here and center align. Is that what's going to happen? Yes, that is what is going to happen. And that's exactly what happened. Now let us look at a few more examples. Okay. Shift home, control C, control V here. I'm going to, I think this is enough. I don't want to confuse you guys with more because if you want to have a look at more exercise, I highly recommend some of the Python challenge sites where you can complete some exercise and get some really good scores. Right signed numbers so what the hell are these what are signed numbers by default only negative numbers are prefixed with a sign here in signed numbers okay unless explicitly mentioned in the code so what the heck is that let's see what the, what that is percentage d and percentage seven this is our old method shift enter seven then i have percentage d and percentage minus seven and percentage hold as you can see by default when you're giving a digit whatever like you no know, uh, plus or negative whatever sign that you give that will be the output here that will be outputted here the same insertion will happen right control a control c control v i'm going to put pi plus here and see what happens plus if i put plus it's not going to appear here because by default it's plus right 
Mm, what if I do this? What if I put double quotes here and see what happens? Okay, I missed one. Hmm, same thing. Now let's look at the new way of doing it. That is percentage D and dot format seven. This is how you do it, and then so I'm signing them. You know, uh, I'm signing them with plus or minus. So that is what uh, signing uh, numbers here is plus D end dot format seven. See what happens here, right? Because I missed this. Now it should come up here as plus seven. So in the new uh, format, if you want to explicitly sign a number with plus or minus, you can do this way here itself uh, within you know the code. Within the code you mentioned plus, you mentioned minus. Let me take this here and put minus here and see whether that works. As you can see, that doesn't. So for that, I have to do this. There you go. That is same again. Okay, if when you see this, I want you to see this. I want you to see this as well. So, yep. How do you get minus seven? When you're inputting the value, the value itself has to be minus seven. Not this, not the placeholder. The placeholder can take that uh, signing of numbers only if it's plus. I don't know why, but that's how it is. There must be a reason why the Python developers did it. I really don't know, and they didn't tell me. So control the position of the sign. This is very interesting. I have never come across using this, but maybe I think you know you uh, just want to know, remember it, or whatever, right? Okay, so here we have colon, this one, colon equals 5D end dot format and then minus 9 end I am going to say enter and what happened here. So minus nine is here. I have I have put after the colon equal five D. So it is going to add okay first let me show you the length of it, right? So no I can't do this. I have to do control C here. L E N. Yep. And see what's so what's the length? So it's five. So and so what I'm telling Python is let me type so that increase the length of the value. The value is here, okay. Minus nine is the value. Increase the length of the of that by five. And right, and um, put have. Or I would say have spaces. How many spaces it should have, right? So when I say uh, spaces, let's say if I have fifteen here, it will still left align. So what it actually does is that it left aligns a symbol that's a sign, the whatever signing that you have done, the minus in this case, and right aligns because by default it's right align. So the spacing, what it's doing, or the increasing of length usually happens from left to right. But here it happens after the signing, the sign what you have, the signing of the number, right? and do it by adding spaces 
after the sign after the sign here the sign is minus here the sign is minus I hope uh, that makes sense now let me see what is what do we have here we have truncating mm, well let's have a look at maybe another example yeah so let's go with this i'm gonna do if what if i do plus on the same thing because by default it's plus it's not going to take it so what if i do control a control c plus so nothing will change except spacing here yeah then what if i put plus here it's not going to work because it is not going to take that is not an accepted format not an accepted format error out okay so let's talk about truncating So truncating is a, a big one, right? So placed name holders is also something which I want to cover, but after this. Okay, here we go, truncate. Let me look at the old example here. Percentage dot 5s and percentage Python, yeah. I want to say old. What did it do? So I've given a string earlier. What we were doing, we were adding padding. We were increasing the length. Truncating is the opposite of that. We are truncating it. We are chopping it off. We are decreasing the length to what five? This is actually the same as. Uh, if you want to do some slicing later, let's say if there was slicing, uh, when I cover slicing, I will uh, go ahead and know uh, and let you know how to do with that slicing. What you can do is you can slice this Python at this place n and select only the first object. If you slice Python at n, you will have two. One is pytho and the second item is going to be the remaining one so you will get a list right and in that list you will select the zeroth item that is going to be pytho well yeah this is python or how would you do that in newer version of python dot five and dot format python there you go so what we did is we have a string we have given a string and we want to chop it off to or decrease the length of it to five and the way we do it is we take out what's on the right so by default if you have not given alignment it will do it from the right by default if you want to increase the length align right will happen increase the length and by default when you're decreasing it or decreasing the length it will always happen from right what about truncating and padding? What if you want to do both or if you need to do both? Let's check out the old gold way, which is still read in 11.3s. I'm going to say percentage. I'm going to say Python. Old. Okay, so what am I telling Python? Truncate the string by three, increase the length by 11, left align the string. So I told all these things to Python by just typing this, truncate the string by three, because here three S is their string. Yep. Increase the length by 11, because we have 11 here, left align the string because it's minus 11 
that's why it's left aligned. If I do the same thing, Control A, Control C, Control V, Remove minus, see what happens. It does the right alignment because by default it is right alignment, unless and until you specify a minus there to do left alignment. How do you do this in modern Python? 11.3 and um, dot format Python and what am I doing it's a what am I telling Python here I'm telling Python do this and that's exactly what happened so let us talk about numbers the same thing let's do the do this to apply this to numbers and see how they behave there percentage d percentage d and percentage one comma two and old so this is old way of doing it then we have this i know i'm might be repeating myself but that's okay because we want to repeat as much as possible to so that it sinks in this is a new way of doing it one comma two right so then we have one comma two right so i'm just summarizing everything right okay so then we have for floats and this is how we do it how we did actually right this is how we did i'm gonna take So percentage f this is the old way by the way percentage the value 3.14 by default it's gonna you know then we have the beautiful named space folders that i talked about that is this markdown this is my favorite because i like it i have used it many times and this has helped me save a lot of time so this is JLD, uh, Justice League Dictionary. Batman is what? Who is Batman? Batman is Bruce Wayne. Superman. Who is Superman? Clark Kent. Now let's do this. Colon. Batman. Okay, first let's do the old gold way. Percentage. Batman. S and I'm going to say Superman S and percentage JLD old. What happens? Right? So here our Batman is Bruce Wayne, Clark and is Superman. But what does this S mean? S means it's going to be a string i'm telling python expect a string here and the key of that string or the the value that you want to expect for for that the key is going to be batman so let's say there are some uh, other keys as well like some other batman is bruce Wayne, superman is clark and wonder woman is diana it's not going to take wonder woman even the wonder woman is at the first place I assume that okay there's wonder woman here and it's at the it's the first key value pair it is not going to take that so if you have a like huge dictionary and you want to um, let's say insert the values of that dictionary and you want to insert a specific values key value pair here or just a value here you mention the keys of the uh, the values that's it it's python is smarty pants it's smart enough to automatically figure that out Okay, so let me do this the new way. New way is simple and sexy. Batman Superman the format Star Star JLD. Hooray, that's it. Star Star is usually given for a dictionary even when we are going to 
write some functions there you will see the double star is usually referred for a dictionary key value pair usually if you want to tell python okay you expect a expect a no key value pair or i'm giving you a key value pair as argument or as a variable you usually use double star single star for number of arguments like a sequence for a sequence single star for a dictionary double star We can also do another way in Batman Superman in dot format Batman equals Bruce uh, Superman equals Clark. Right? What happens? Bruce and Clark. So instead of you just passing the entire dictionary, you can call the name of the keys that you are given here and mention their values and they will be returned here then did i miss anything okay there is one more one tiny interesting thing get item and set get item and get attributes let's cover that too here so what is that jld batman is bruce wayne JLD Superman is Clark Kent then here I'm going to do J Batman as you can see I'm just saying J I'm not saying like now hey J here a JLD or JL you might be thinking, am I uh, doing a mistake here? But I am not Batman, Superman, and dot format. Here, what I'm going to tell Python, hey, Python, J, consider J at JLD. So this will essentially become this yeah so that's where it is right so what I will do here is I will do enter Bruce Wayne Clark Kent Bruce Wayne Clark Kent this is also another nice way of doing it then you might remember that we have defined one two four six eight as numbers so here let's do something with them let's not leave them alone n zero and i'm gonna say copy this control c control v space control v i'm gonna say zero I'm going to say 2, I'm going to say 3, and dot format, n is nums. I'm going to tell Python, hey Python, so whatever n that I have mentioned here, right, uh, assume, so n is equal to nums, consider that n as nums, then Python is going to say, okay, n is nums, so I'm going to replace this n with nums, in nums, the first uh, zeroth value is one. In nums, the second value that is zero one two is four, and in nums, third value is six. As you can see here, six. I think it makes sense. Easy one. Hmm. I know that I have not talked about object-oriented programming (OOP). Uh, oops. Yet. I have not talked about functions yet. Bear with me, just swallow this pill, right? You will understand it. Or if you don't want to understand it, okay, just um, skip. Don't skip it, just ha have it at the back of your head. Later when I cover functions and oops, or object oriented programming, you will understand what it is. Alan and JLD is this 
Batman Bruce Bruce Wayne Then we have Superman Clark Kent I know that I do a lot of typing uh, I don't I could shorten the videos by copy pasting but I do this so that now you get time too in between and we can do your own typing uh, so that videos will be slow and slow digestion is better whether it's for stomach or it's for your brain flash okay as you can see this is a class I've defined a class and dot flash if I say dot flash okay it gives me dot flash right same way let's go ahead and uh, use that now here I'm going to say colon this p dot flash end format I'm going to say p is my class yep there you go so not only during formatting I can what put whatever here blah 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 right so for sequencing for I can not just pass on a sequence that is list you know tuple whatever or a dictionary I can also pass an entire class an entire class here right and from that it can start formatting stuff let's expand on that p dot flash and p dot jld batman then we have p dot nums 3 and dot format p equals my class all right so shift enter here Alan Bruce Wayne 3 so p.nums I didn't have to pass anything here I'm just directly calling that out right uh, by mentioning p as my class here so p my class it's going to take my class it's as good as I'm saying my class parenthesis dot nums get the third item I uh, it's a combination of what all we did earlier here with the dictionary with just a variable with a sequence hmm. then by the way this is nums let's talk about date time here date time formatting is is something in, in all this date time formatting is probably the one which you might end up using the most from date time import date time doesn't make sense I mean from date time import date time but that's how they have named it I'm not going to create or complain about it because it's a very sweet module very useful though why not why why but oh, why mm, then m for month then i'm gonna say day space percentage hour colon percentage m colon percentage s for second so hour minute second year month date hour minute second so what do we have here dot format date time 2018 one two three four five five what really happened 18 01 02 03 so 2018 first month that is jan 02 that is second second of jan 2018 three o'clock 
फोर्थ मिनट फिफ्टी फिफ्थ सेकेंड All right, so that is how you format a date, a date time. Let's say parameterized formats. What is this parameterized format? Let's have a glance to it. What is this? All right, okay. Here, colon parenthesis colon inside that I have colon again. align i'm going to say with dot format batman align i don't know why someone would use this but there are shorter better ways that we have discussed earlier but there's always a, a use case for everything where did I mess up? Okay, equal here. There you go. So what actually I did, what did I do? Instead of mentioning alignment here and the width, width here, I'm gonna put everything here, right? So this, I think, you know, kind of easy uh, to remember. It's not like messy to remember, it's easy. Okay, so give whatever you, um, have here so value is gonna obviously gonna go here and alignment you are specifically calling it mentioning okay width is gonna be this alignment is gonna be this kind of cute so i'm gonna say control a control c control v width i'm gonna say align left control a control c control v i'm gonna say right Yeah, I think same thing. Let's do this a bit differently. JL zero. Come on, I keep mistyping stuff. All right, so that's a. I think that's all for parameterized parameterized formats. Okay, so. I think that's all I had for now. Thank you for tuning in. You have a great one. You take care.